and I came out right. So it was just I was just lay on a bed of false teeth. How big's this been? That is a massive moth. What, you've oh got my. that frightened by a moth? Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck me. It's on a move. Why are you getting so frightened by a moth? Because they, like, because they go, <laughs> without even knowing where they're going. <laughs> Hang on, they go, what? Right, moths, like, you know, yeah, you get a fly, like, bzzz, you know where they're going, bees, bzzz, wasps. Going for a fight, man. Moths just go <laughs> constantly, and they flap at you. They flap towards you. They eat your clobber, and they leave like a dust behind them. And gone, fuck off, dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I got, I got a fucking, fucking minute. Hell. What what happened there? What happened there? You've just had I a breakdown it. about moths, and then you've just killed it live on air. Better me, th- better him than me. We're gonna. You, you do realise the complaints we're gonna get for that? What for killing a moth? Yeah. Fuck my fuck off. Fuck moth. <laughs> Look at you doing a little poem. Fuck off, said the moth. I'm not a goth. <laughs> I, be- I belong in the trough. <laughs> I fucking can't stand moths. I hate moths. So, what a point. They're pointless little wankers. They are. Well, what do they bring? Well, we have I, and I am Can I just say something? We haven't, we haven't been to a certain place in a while. Do you want to put it, put it in there? Where? To the, the, the hour of slander. What, sla- you want me to put up? I have, I'm, I'm unprepared for sloths. Sloths? Shit. Moths. God, you can't fucking put sloths hell. in there. Sloths are nice. I'm not putting sloths in there. Sloths are great. You used to be a goth. I used to be a goth. Well, I wasn't really a goth. I wasn't. I'll, I don't have many more times. I have to tell you this, right? And I'm sick of you always saying to me, you used to be a goth. I, I was never a goth. Never, ever. Never, ever, 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 ever was I a goth. Okay? I, I, okay, right. A you goth, were, right? You were a moth-loving I, goth. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll tell you this for free, right? So put your fucking money away, right? You fucking idiot, right? <laughs> Is, I was never a goth, right? Never painted me nails, right? Never wore black lippy and never dyed me hair gr- black, right? And I never had, like, a chain. No, I did have a chain. But, right? Did you have a I chain with have... your wallet on the end of it? Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> of course I did, Al. And I tell you what, I wish I had that the other week when I lost my wallet to exchange flags. <laughs> yeah, you did, yeah. Oh, luckily, I got it back, ladies and gents. Your little Velcro more... wallet on a chain. I, w- I would have had that. I'll, I wouldn't have lost it. Wouldn't have lost it. But I got it back, everyone. Anyway, right? Was never a goth, right? I never wore. I never listened to gothy music. It depends on what you say by gothy music. Although I do like heavy metal, right? Uh, my idea. I was alternative, Al. Right. Right. Okay. I had green hair. Yeah. Right. For a period of time. Right. Long to me, to me, to me shoulders, right? Yeah. Fully sh- clean shaven, cause I c- couldn't grow a beard, right? And then, like you know, outfit wise was usually like um, you know some form of like a uh, really alternative like t shirt or polo t shirt, something along them lines. What about like a like a, a waistcoat or a or a um, or like a golf jumper? <sighs> I know you get that. Right, and I'll tell everyone it's not it's not a dirty secret. Al, one time I went to a, uh, I, I swear to God, right, and I'm not joking yet. It was called the Stevie Wonder Arena in Wol in Wolverhampton. What? I'm pretty certain it was called the Stevie Wonder Arena. You, you, you I'm pretty certain of it. I don't know. Al. Why would it be in Wolverhampton? Well, I don't know. Was the pictures know. of him there? Maybe it's a different Stevie Wonder. Maybe they've got like a local legend of Stevie Wonder. Called Steve Wonder. Steve Wonder. Stephen Wonder. Anyway, right. And I went that night, right. I had baggy jeans on, right. 
And then they had two different coloured Converse on. Two. One was a high top, one was a low top. What colours? I th- right. So I think the low top was see through. Oh God! So it was like a plasticky kind so you of had material. To have socks. Mhm. And then the other one was a high top, and I'm pretty certain that was red. <laughs> and then I had obviously baggy jeans on, chain with your wallet with wallet on, and then I had like a plaid shirt on, right? You know, like a trucker kind of shirt, right? Yeah. And then on top of that, right, was a white sleeveless jumper, V-neck. And on one side, it had the uh, Tommy Hilfiger sign on. And on the other, the Crest of St. Andrew's Golf Course. <laughs> and why were you in the Stevie Wonder Arena? We went for like an indie night. In in Wolverhampton? Yeah. Well, we went there. It was like We went for someone's birthday. We actually, do you know what? I was only 17 and it was one of our lads, his sister went to uni there. And I necked a uni student, Sal. And I mean, you've just described your outfit and your hair and everything. And it sounds like if like if Queer Eye got a hold of the Joker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen out, right? It was year, two, it was 2006. So, 05, 06. Yeah, yeah. Right? It was a free-for-all back then, Al. You were still wetting your trousers, right? I'm trying to think how old I was in 2005, six. Um, how old were you? Oh, 93, so 13. You were 13. 12, 13, yeah. So I, I was going out, yeah, and I went out to uh, the Stevie Wonder Arena in, in Wolverhampton. And, uh, you were necking, yeah. you were necking uni, uni students. Yeah, yeah, singular. I wasn't on a rampage, just one. <laughs> But she liked me green hair, Al, so... Well, listen, a few well, people did. Back of the dentist. I can't believe you've said that. <laughs> I can't believe you've said that. <laughs> You're going to have to try really hard for me to tell that story. I, I, you you can't just... You just can't run it. You can't... You. I could just tell Every... it myself wrong. And then you'd, have, right, to then. Go, you'd have to go, No, no, no. This is what happened. <laughs> I can't, Al. Me mum, me mum listens to it. <laughs> I'll leave it there. It could be like the Gavin and Stacey fishing trip. <laughs> for those, for those of those people in the know, Back they'll the know. Dentist. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. All right, I can tell up to a certain point. Yeah. All right. So I once right went on a date. I think I was like fifteen, sixteen, and I once went on a date with a girl where we lived, right? And where we went was the back of a dental laboratory where they make false teeth. And what uh, what were you wearing this day? Not not anything too dissimilar from what I was wearing in Wolves. Yeah. So I was I think I was wearing like um baggy jeans again, odd chain, converse, these chain wallet. Yeah. Of course, and my keys on as well. Picture of me nan in the wallet. <laughs> Bless her, she was still alive at that point. And uh, and what else did I have? And I think I just had like I went through a phase of like having like a t shirt on, like a band t shirt of some kind. Right, okay. And then like a really like fuddy duddy shirt over it. Like a Def Leopard t shirt or something like that. No, I'd never never in a million oh, years right, right. I have a Def Leopard. Don't ever insult my intelligence. Like, fucking shite. Who who then? Like like Nirvana or No. Everyone jumping on the Nirvana train. Here we are. Unpopular opinion. Nirvana was shite. Oh, my days. They were shit. <laughs> there was only two good tunes. That's it. What were they? Re- uh, they were t- Smells Like Teen Spirit, which is like a cult classic, and Rape Me. They're the only two tunes. What about Lithium? No, oh, shite. Shit. I think what is were, it when I you... I think they were, like, totally innovative, totally new. They, what they, for grunge music? Yeah, I mean, I mean they, they were they were maybe the voice of a generation at the time. Hang on, hang on. What are you talking about? You can't not Nirvana. We had grunge before Nirvana. Radioheads were putting out grunge music at that point. Muse were putting out grunge music at that point. I think you've got a similar opinion on the Rolling Stones here. Two good songs. Rolling Stones were just like okay. Do you know who I prefer over Nirvana and Rolling Stones? Who? Nirvana. 
Rolling Stones are actually just shit. They're just shit. <laughs> Al, Al, they're just shit. Okay? Shite. Okay? Nirvana were not as good as what people think they were. So, uh, but uh, again... I think it was safe to say it wasn't a Rolling Stones top then. Why would I wear a rough fucking Rolling Stones top? A cool logo, in it. I'd rather wear a McFly top. Would you actually? actually I, Al, I like more McFly tunes than I do Rolling Stones tunes. Oh, my days. It's true. I think there's going to be Rolling Stones fans out there that are going to be... I don't think there's any that listen to this besides Galash, and he can fuck off and all. <laughs> Unreal. <sighs> right, what was the top? Oh, right. I, um, I'm trying to think what it was, and, I, and I'm pretty certain it was a Motorhead shirt. Oh, right. Hmm. Motorhead shirt, different coloured converse, baggy jeans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wallet, chain, keys. Yeah, yeah, Picture yeah, of your nan yeah. in the wallet. Yeah, obviously. And then, and what, then, and then uh, over the over the Motorhead shirt was like a shirt, like an open shirt. Right. Okay. And how how and, did you? So you you th- this date you went on. How did you yeah. get? Th- how did you get there? Uh, a little scoot, like a little push scooter. Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> You know, like one of them metal folding ones that were in all the rage at one point. Mini scooters. Yeah, you know the ones that used to, it, if, it, if it flew around and it you on the ankle, it oh. felt like a broken ankle. Me and my brother took them on holiday one year. In our case. What, you packed them in the case? Yeah, yeah. That must have been <sighs> over the weight. Money to burn. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, met up with her, right? I, fe- I honestly forget her name. I, I genuinely forget her name. All I know is she now lives in Barbados. Oh. So who's really one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, she's she married a local Barbasian. Do you say Barbasian? I think you say Bayesian. Do you say Bayesian? Yeah. I prefer Barbasian. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm not. I'm not saying that's that's gospel. I'm just saying. All right, I'll just say Bayesian. If they're if they're <laughs> sexy as well, you say babe station. <laughs> but, uh, remember babe station? Does she run the local Bayesian babe station? <laughs> Are you of a Barbasian persuasion? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer Barbasian. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it just sounds cooler, doesn't it? I'm not trying to change it gospelly, like, I'm just saying. Fucking hell. <laughs> it just sounds oh. cooler. It does sound cooler. It does sound cooler. Are you, are you Scouse? Are you, are you English or are you Scouse? I'm actually Barbasian. I'm actually Barbasian. Oh, it's actually Bayesian, you know. Yeah, well, I prefer <laughs> Barbasian. Al, you can be any... Al, this, hang on. This is the 1st of June, 2021... You can literally be whatever you want. What do you want to be? You want to be Barbasian? No, I, I, yeah. I, I want to be watch. Anything. I want to be Barbasian and watch Babe Station. Yeah. Oh, do you remember Babe Station though? Oh, it was great. Yeah. Cracking great, little show. Yeah. Always great content. Good, always a good a good storyline. Oh, brilliant. Always ended on a cliffhanger. You never knew where they were going. Remember when, I ch- remember when I tried to write that sketch about your mum? Like, not your but your mum. Not my mum. But I, ch- I tried to write a sketch once where a lad, a lad's mum worked at Babe Station and she had to ring up, he had to ring up the number just to see what he was getting for tea later that night. Yeah, yeah. But she'd be on the, she'd be on the, she'd be on the screen squeezing her tits like, <laughs> oh yeah. But really she was like, yeah, you're having egg and chips tonight, Gorge. Is that all right for you? I'll get you a fucking Calypso as well afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I've had a coffee before this and I can tell. I can, because your impression of a moth was absolutely <laughs> mental. <laughs> you just went, yeah. what coffee? Uh, we've we've got some uh, Kenyan stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> it's a Kenyan roast. <laughs> What's funny about that? Oh, 
Just when I thought, just (laughs) (laughs) just when I thought you were gonna say Nescafe, Kenko, any other brand, you gave me the country. Thanks very much. I wasn't expecting it, but it gave me a a top laugh. No, right. You know the way you can buy like different coffee from around the world. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, the one I've got is like it's like Kenyan roast. Uh, Is it nice? It's delicious. Yeah. You can go for like a Colombian roast that's like blow your head off on an Italian roast. But a Kenyan one is like it's quite smooth. It's it's it, got like a nice chocolatey hit to it, it's lovely. But it's fit it's, it it gives you oof. I can sense that. Well I've I've done it in like a French press. Oh lovely. Lovely. <sighs> Any milk? A little splash, not too much. When it's strong. No yeah, 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 yeah. What back was I saying to, anyway? Back to behind the dentist. Oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, right. Cut a long story short, right? I messed up with this girl and I went for a date with her behind where they make false teeth, right? And we both turned up, you know, fifteen, nervous, right? And they were like, oh yeah. So I got overly zealous and I was like, I'll I'll impress her, right? So she was standing there like arms folded, like what the fuck's this fella doing? And I opened. They've got like huge bins behind this place, right? And I was like, oh, have you seen what's in here? She went, no. So I just jumped into this bin and I fell into like a load of moulds of teeth that they threw away. What? You know, like... I I actually don't know where to start here. You've said, in an attempt to impress her, you threw yourself into a bin. Yeah. Right. Then secondly, you've said, there was a bin full of teeth. Yeah, not human teeth. Model teeth. Remind yourself, right? They make false teeth here. Yeah. So these are modelled on people's teeth, but not their actual teeth. Still creepy. Well, I mean, I fell in there. I felt like I was in an Indiana Jones film. I bet you did. And I came out, right? So I was just just lay on a bed of false teeth. How big's this bin? It was like a fucking, you know, one of them industrial-sized bins. Fucking hell. You know, with like a big lid. Yeah, yeah. Two-hander. Jumped in, loads of teeth... Came out and I had like a couple of pairs, and I just like tried to play them like castanets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my shit! And was she impressed? Yeah, it worked. I'll I'll say no more. What 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 did you play? No, I, no, I didn't do any tunes. I didn't go like ram dam day, ram dam day. I didn't do any of that. It was just a silent maraca, just not a no silent castanets, you know. Did they make noises? Oh, uh, you know, like a little chomping noise. That was a bad eh? <laughs> you take the moon with you. Oh what? Did you take air the- home? I didn't take air home. The teeth, Whoa. the teeth. Oh no, no, God no, no. Well, no. you were happy enough to jump in a bin full of them, but you wouldn't yeah. take a, a set of the moon. Why would I take a set of teeth home with me? I don't know, just a, like, just for a laugh to have. Oh, as a memento. Yeah. No, well. A souvenir uh, of great times. <laughs> it was a great time. Listen, you, you're now in the renaissance of that life. You know why as well, Al? She asked me out on a date, right, because she'd been a part of the tech crew when we were in high school, right, and she'd seen in my performance of Marley's Ghost in Scrooge and was highly impressed. <laughs> That's I true. I just got that. this image of Marley's ghost having green hair. I remember the audition, mate. And you had to audition in front of other auditionees, right? And everyone kept going up and going, Scrooge, Scrooge. And then I fucking got up, right? I thought, give me these fucking lines. And I just got up and I was going, Scrooge, Scrooge. And Miss Perrin went in. Give him, give him Marley's ghost. I mean, that th- that performance sort of warranted, like, to play Scrooge, not not the small character of Marley's ghost. I thought that, but they had another lad in mind. But I, y- you always, listen Al, I don't know about you, but for me, I always remember the supporting cast. 
Yeah, yeah. They hailed my performance as standout of the of the decade. Were you the last one to come out and take a bow? They were uh, like, the no. audience were like, "Give us Marley's ghost!" Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that is unreal. I don't know I'm fucking wasted. You honestly. could work on like a ghost. You could work on like a ghost tour ride, couldn't you? I thought so. You know, like a ghost ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, we um, could do, like a like a like, man on ghost like ride. Like a train. Like a, like there's a train and and yeah, yeah. ghosts and stuff. Don't know what they call them. A ghost train. Oh right. Oh fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a silly one today. It's a silly one today. <laughs> Seeing as it's a silly one, I want to change it up a bit because I've got a couple of serious questions for you. Oh, okay. Fire away. Right. I've got question number one. Would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? Oh. Um, I'd rather lose the ability to read. Really, yeah? Yeah. Shit thing to because lose, though, isn't it? I know, but like, what was the other one? Speak. No, I just really love having conversations, Al. Like, I think we can get by without reading. We wouldn't be able to get by without speaking. That would be infinitely... Do you know what I mean? If I'd be able to speak, I'd go into somewhere and go, oh, I'm so sorry, I can't read. Someone will go, oh, no problem, let me do that for you. But if you if you walk in and you're like a mute... Yeah. Speaking of mutes, by the way, I remember when I worked at Tesco Q... I yeah. don't think. Did you know me back then? No, I don't no, know whether you I did or you not. Did, I know you did work there, but I didn't. I didn't know you. Then. I got trained by a mute. Sorry. I got trained by a mute. What stack how, shelves? How, how? Just kept pointing at stuff, Al. Just kept pointing at stuff. You're winding me up. I'm not winding you up, Al. I am not winding you up. He he was a mute, right? And I can't remember his name, right? Lovely lad, from what I can gather. Could have yeah. been a right shit, but you'll never know. He never opened his mouth, right? And he was going, like, anyway, oh, you're with, you know, let's just call him John. Oh, you're with John, young lad, but he wasn't speaking. And then, oh, by the way, John's mute. And I was like, what was, I fucking had no idea what that meant. So I was like, all right. So he just kept pointing at stuff for me to pick up and put on a shelf. That is ma- poor management. It is poor ma No, but you've got to be diverse. Well, I don't know why I whispered that. You've got to be diverse, Al. Al. You have. Al. You have got to be. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, as a manager, lead by example. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was taking, I was taking a drink and then he spat everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're right. 100% you should right. lead by example. Should have put the things on the shelf himself, and then given you a suggestive look, as if to say, "As I do, as I do, not as I point." Not as I, yeah. And uh, like. That you get buddied up with them, you know. So I had to have lunch with them for a month. Oh, how, how was that? All we did was play pool. I mean, but he could he could clap. What? A g- so I I'd make a fucking boss shot and he'd go. <laughs> I'm like, I thought to myself, couldn't we develop a system here where like if I do something good, you clap, and you know if you do something bad, like but like no noise came out of him, nothing. Not even like a grunt or. I, a- I didn't I didn't even hear him burp. Was it? Was it? Uh, you know, was it by choice? Had he taken a vow of silence, or was it, was it a disability? I want to say now for anyone who's listening who might get offended, right? Because I don't know whether it's a psychological thing. I don't know whether it's a choice thing. I don't know whether I don't know whether he's like a, a monk. But then again, would monks work at Tesco? They might. I'm not saying no. Just I just don't know. You can wear the uniform. And he had a full head of hair, so he couldn't be a monk. Hang on, hang on. I just don't know if they can wear the uniform. Well, they can add wear their that own orange. little monk swaz to it. <laughs> yeah. I, no, instead I of a say... Belt, you... Instead of a belt, a, a traditional belt, they could just use rope. You know that yellow thing, they, that's that orange thing they wear? Yeah. Just in Tesco colours? Yeah, yeah. That'd be good. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd go, there's John, he's a monk. He, yeah, he loves working, and he's it. also a, he's also uh, he's whatever it is of our silence. Yeah, so you know, but people used to come up to him and go, "Excuse me, where's the sugar?" And he just points, and they'd be like, "The fuck is going on here?" But luckily, he was always just buy exactly what it was they needed. 
Well, I th- he did a lot of like you know follow me, like you know beckon me type movements. God, like a real SAS mission. Yeah, it's mad. I've had a mad life. Yeah, he's literally that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, to yeah. answer your question, Al, <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, la- I'd rather lose the ability to read. Well, that was a really serious one. Hmm. Would you rather fart loudly every time someone's having a serious conversation with you, or burp mm. after every kiss? Oh, burp after every kiss? I do anyway now. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, aren't you? That was easy. That was easy. Yeah, though. all the time. That was, the romance is not lost in this flat. I'll trust me on that one. But sometimes, if I'm if I go in for a particularly passionate clench, you know, yeah, sometimes I get all excited after. and I just have a little <laughs> afterwards. That's nice. not in her right. face. I was not in say. her face. No, 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 no. Move out the way, Al. Move out the way. Question three. Oh, Would yeah. you rather be a bowling champion? Or a curling yeah. champion. I'd rather be a bowling champion. What kind of bowling? Are we talking like grass bowling or? I don't know, like ten pin. I think. I think there's loads. There's loads of funny in ten pin bowling. If I was single, so. Seriously. Yeah. Have you seen? Have you seen the videos from America? More so than curling, lad. You're just a mopper. <laughs> curling with them on on ice. No. No <laughs> chance. I'd rather be a bowling star. You'd rather be a bowling Colling. star. What would your bowling nickname be? Ten Pin Robbo. Yeah, Ten Pin Robbo's good. Or Ten Pin Bro. Yeah, that's great. Turkey. Oh, like turkey. Turkey sandwich. The t- yeah, the Turkey Twizzler. Oh yeah, you could be called the Turkey Twizzler. Yeah. yeah. And then there's like the boring ones. And then like you, you could, could like called. you could spin on the ice after you did everything. Oh yeah. no, it's bowling, isn't it? Not curling. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'd get to wear the shoes. And you've got them anyway. Uh, what do you mean? You, you could wear different coloured ones back to your roots. Oh, I see. Because oh, you're making fun of me converse. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> you could go back to your roots and wear different coloured bowling shoes. I, I'm Listen now, I'm not going back to that point in my life where I was that alternative. I don't need to. I don't need to. No, you've lived it all. It was a phase... What a phase it was. Oh, it's great. It was brilliant. Now you're into the, the new phase of your life. How have you been this week? Uh I've been be- I've been better this week. Um well, well, I'm off for half term, aren't I? Yeah. I fucking hate being off. You said this to me before. <sighs> but it sounds like you've had I a hate lovely it. weekend. I had a lovely weekend. I had a great weekend. I was I was out Friday with a good a good mate of mine who I haven't seen for a very long time, Matt it, Whitt. Who listens who listens to the podcast and we love him dearly, Mister Matthew Whittleton. So a happy birthday for him, and we very went out. We went birthday. to Madre, uh, and then we went uh, to the lab, and I was bladdered. But according to you, I was all right. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't think you were bladdered until the next day when we went for lunch, and you were yes. extra, extra grumpy with people on the street. <sighs> they were just annoying me. They were, you know, just like, oh, just fuck off, like. And and the and the menu was dead bright. You did say that, that yeah. That didn't help. You weren't so, happy with um, the bright menu. No, I wasn't. So I had so Saturday. Uh, what did I do? Oh yeah, stay there. Watch the play. Watch the playoff final. Congratulations to Brentford. Oh yeah, seventy-four years since last in top flight. Unreal, great side. Oh yeah, brilliant game. End proper end to end. Them and Leeds in the Prem next year. Pretty um, yeah, that'll be attacking, great. Attacking teams. And uh, and then Sunday, uh, I went to my mum and dad's. They did a big uh, big barbecue. Oh, love it. Oh, it was unbelievable. Some quality oh. time with the family. Oh. Was the whole gang there? Uh, let me think. Uh, oh, only uh, only our James, but he was in, he was in work. Oh. So everyone else, Phil and Jess were there. I saw his lovely face today anyway. Yeah, you saw him in Leaf, didn't you? So I went up and had, had lunch where he works and he looked after me. Very nice. Quality service. Stop. Five stars on TripAdvisor for James. 
Oh, well, there you go, Jim. He hasn't stopped. Uh, he doesn't stop that lad. It's great. He works and parties. Parties hard. I'm I'm rather envious of it, to be honest with you. Because me now, fucking hell. Love a night in. There was a day when that would have been us. <sighs> but um, as a week, yeah, it's been all right. Um, it I, it was better than how I felt last week, definitely. Better? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I felt, quite, I felt quite bleak last week. Yeah, you seem more... You seem much more chipper this week than you did last week, and I, I don't know whether it's the the Kenyan coffee. <laughs> I think that's really attributed to it. Yeah, I just think like I, I don't know, like I think it's really important that we, you know, uh, especially me, we try we try and highlight the ups and the downs. Yeah, you know, in a, in all in all its uh, in all its glory. No, so I, I think I had a pretty down. Down week last week. I, I don't for a multitude of reasons, but I feel like they're still there to a certain extent. Um, I feel a little bit more chipper about things. Yeah, as you read, chipper. Like I'd, I'd say, I felt a bit more chipper about things. Like I feel a little bit more. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Christ. Um, <clears throat> I can't think of the word. Positive or you, positive? Jesus Christ! There you go. Imagine that. Um, so I do feel a little bit more positive about things. But like, what? It's weird though how it swings around well to me. You know, again, like what, what, what was I was applauding last week for saying, oh, I'll just see how it goes, like job wise. Yeah, is now is now at the forefront of my mind, and now I'm worrying about it again. You know, so really, yeah, I th- yo, yeah, terribly. I just, I, 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 I said, like I said to you last week, I was like, oh, I don't mind being here now, but I think I just had like a good week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd had a good week and, it, and then back to back to square one on it. Yeah, and then the last two were dreadful. It's mentally draining. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like it is just mentally draining. So um it's one of them now where you're like you've cut you come full circle on it. So it's just like mm, Yeah. I don't I don't I don't feel particularly great. So no, but, I that, totally but get you that. know, besides besides that, I've got a week off. I don't really want to have a week off, but it is what it is. if I have a week off I don't get paid. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worrying about that as well, but yeah. Besides that, you know, it's, it's about dealing with what you're worrying about, isn't it? Yeah, That's what it always I, boils down to. I was speaking to Sienna this week about things getting on top of you and just getting stressed about. I think once I th- I feel like once you start stressing about one thing, you then subconsciously start thinking about other things and other things, and it all sort of starts to mound up. Mm. Yeah, um, but I don't know. It's about prioritizing and um, and thinking about the, trying to find, like you said, then you're feeling more positive. Trying to find the positives in things, like trying to find the positive in this week off. Do you know what I mean? You've got a week. Yeah. How do you make the most of this week off? I think as well as like, um, I think it's the notion of because it's not long until school ends. Yeah. Really. And I've just watched Eloise, you know, tear like it was complete turmoil trying to find a fucking job, bless her soul. Because <clears throat> the current job she was in she didn't want to be in. And she's been spending months and months trying to find a job. Yeah. So, you know when you just like you and you I think it was a realisation the other week, I, I was like, Oh fucking hell, like <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if it takes that long? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so No, no, um, it's it's uh it's a stressful one. How's she getting on with the job on? Yeah, really well. Yeah, um, she's she's uh, had a couple of irons in the fire, um, so she's she's had a go- she's had a couple of interviews for certain places. So she's just waiting to hear back now. Yeah. So we're just waiting to see, mate. But she, uh, she's she's got an amazing resilience. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. You know, she just to. You know, I think she's been really unlucky with like certain ones where they've knocked her back and <clears throat> times where they've gone, Oh, you know, you were you were our second choice and I just think, Well fucking hell, that really would mess with my head, but yeah. she's just uh, grabbed it by the ankles and cra- and carried on, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Grabbed it definitely. by the ankles, that's a I've never heard that phrase before. If you grab something by its ankles I've heard grab it by the horns. Yeah, but it's still got four legs, Annie. If you grab it by its ankles, you've got more control over it. <laughs> still got four legs. 
Okay, well, name your thing that's got horns and two legs. The devil. Besides him. Well, you grab him by his tail, don't you? Yeah. Or his or his dick. <laughs> if you're into or that. Well, that, no, nothing against you if you do, but always comes back to penis with you. Just <laughs> saying. <laughs> um, something with horns and two legs. You can't think. I can. Go on then. An ampu- I'm not, I'm not an a amputee, mythical creature. An amputee. Ram. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I well uh, for one, if it was an amputee, it wouldn't be walking upright like you think it would. It'd be on wheels. Yeah, exactly. So you got to buy its ankles. The wheels are pointless. Oh, I guess so. So grab life by its ankles. Grab it by its ankles. There you go. Well, that's the new phrase then. Well, everyone, if you're thinking about things positively, grab it by the ankles. <laughs> So, with that in mind, Al, have you been grabbing life by its ankles this week? Oh, it's been full on, a full on week, mate. Um, this week, I, I've I've just been, I've been in work all week, um, mm. and I don't know, maybe stress. I stressed a lot this week about like um, not having enough time, as in like. I think I worked. I I just jumped on behind the bar, or I was taking orders, or I was doing like there, there was no like time to plan ahead or to think of projects for the next few weeks or things like that. It was just so full on all week, and then also trying to use the time away from the place wisely, so that I wasn't like so that I wasn't gonna start resent like you don't start resenting work do you know what I mean so like Saturday afternoon I I text you saying let's go for some lunch trying mm. to use my time away from the place <clears throat> mm. as time to enjoy myself so yeah. that so that when I'm in work I'm in a good mood but it was just it, the past two weeks has just been so full on in terms of people obviously I think people just want to be out and enjoying themselves so we've been absolutely chocker which is amazing absolutely mm. amazing but like I said, the mm. stress comes from just, oh, I haven't had time to plan this or order this or do that. Not enough hours in the day. No. It's a nightmare, isn't it? Like, when you try and prioritise your time like that. It's trying to, like you said, prioritising your time is exactly what it is. Um, And it's just about... Uh, there's so many days last week where I'd look at my watch and go, bloody hell, it's 10 o'clock at night. Like, where's the whole day gone? Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it, it's mad, isn't it? Because, you know, someone would, t- not me, but someone would turn around to you and go, well, just be happy that you, you know, you, you've you you've got, you know, where... I'm absolutely I, buzzing that we're back open and we're, you we're know what I mean? smashing it. But it's I, just, it's... You still get. St- I, I'm over the moon. I'm, you still get stressed about. Yeah. You just don't want it to not work. So and and you sort of got a plan ahead. Uh, I want to um, pu- push the point though that <laughs> I wasn't that type of person. No, no. <laughs> Going. Oh, you should be at because like I, I'm very much a. Um, you know, I've always, I've always been a don't work hard, work smart. Yeah. Type person, you know. Like, you can work smart and hard. Like, you know, working smart can be working hard. But yeah, yeah. I think if you, you know, we, I think you you were really aware of, like, as soon as we opened up, it was just going to be out the gate, like, really, really busy. and That's what it's been like. But at the same time, there's the, um, obviously, during the pandemic, the staff have all got other jobs. So we've either lost staff or yeah. or they've got a second job, which we, we didn't have to work around in the past and now now you're sort of going like we just don't have enough we like we didn't have enough people in like the past two weeks so we just jumped on and worked as many hours as we could um yeah yeah but then like i said that the stress comes from the i should have spent an hour planning this for next week but i haven't i think you you're probably falling into a, a little mini trap of mine so I'll take that right back off you, mate. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't need you don't need that in your life. Um, yeah, you, <laughs> you don't need that. No, but it's a trap of like, 
of almost being like, mm, I didn't do that, so I'm going to feel bad about it. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's one of them like high insight grand scheme of things where you kind of go, oh well, it wasn't the end of the the end of the world that I didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I know what you mean now. I <laughs> think it, I think it'll just it's it's being prepared for things, isn't it? And I think only time will fix that. So I think the next few weeks things will either calm down or we'll be more prepared for what's ahead yeah um, yeah but it's amazing it's amazing to see people out and enjoying themselves and and also in the time in the time off the weather's been amazing um and it's just been good to get out and enjoy yourself a little bit yeah because we had miserable weather leading up to this oh a really gray two weeks haven't we and then oh god it was horrendous the weekend was every unreal. fucking day yeah it was a scorcher i've got tan lines for have you Fair, yeah. Oh, of course it has. Where are we so where are we talking? What me tan lines? Yeah. Um, on my arms and very high up on my thigh. Oh, we've been you wearing short know. shorts, have we? Yeah. Well, I've just been wearing me footy shorts all outside. Oh. Breathable, breathable. Very nice. Yeah. So it uh, it makes all the difference, doesn't it? It does. Them make legs all the are looking. To... Them legs are looking extra nice. Then what? You didn't... S- what, my legs? Yeah, well, you said a couple of weeks ago on the podcast that one of your favourite things about yourself was your legs. Oh, they're very shapely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now, yeah. They're, so now, now they're shapely and tanned. Now they're sun-kissed. It's uh, really, uh, really harken back to my Spanish heritage. Yeah, no no burns. No... Oh, I, I, I don't burn. you messing. I, I know that. People go to me and, like... You know, we went to Sefton Park yesterday and she slathered herself up in uh, sun cream. Because, you know, she's, like, pale. You know, she's basically see-through. She won't mind me saying that because she is. She's from Rochdale, Al, as you expect, right? <laughs> but me, no. I don't, I don't put some cream on. Don't put it on at all? Nah, I put some on my nose sometimes. But for the most part, if I'm away on holiday, cook an oil. You just do oil, yeah? Yeah. Bronze, bronze up, innit? Do you, yeah? Yeah, Al, Al, I look for, honest to God, right, and I'm not, this is going to sound a bit sus, as in, people are going to be like, I don't know whether people are going to, that's racial or not, but I'll say it anyway, right, wherever I've been on holiday, right, like Malta, or it happened a lot in Miami when I was in Miami, right, people come up to me and speak the language, thinking I've I was had a local. That, I have had that before myself in Spain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they it's they do it all the time to me in Malta, and I just go, "Whoa, English mate, Scouse." English mate, <laughs> sorry mate, Barbasian. <laughs> <laughs> sorry mate, I'm so, Barbasian. And then, like, if if I was in Miami, I'd get that a lot with, because obviously, a uh, vast majority of them are Hispanic, and you know what I mean. Hola amiga, sí, and I'd be like, "Whoa." Se lo siento, no hablo mucho. I say, Hispanol. no, no, no. Anglaterra, Anglaterra. And what do they say back know. to you? Uh, they just spit at you then. Which is quite <laughs> right. <laughs> Coming over and ruining our country. <laughs> Most Brits do. do. This is why I don't get. This is why I don't get everyone going, oh, oh. fucking clamber for a holiday. Why? Why? Why go now? Everyone's everyone cra- everyone's fucking scrambling to get to Portugal, and you know all these fucking fucking fat, bald, fucking vest wearing, egg eating, British bulldog tattoo wearing, twat fucking knobheads are gonna go over there, right? They're gonna order a load of English food, be really rude to the locals, and then just break patio furniture because that's all they've ever got on the outside of bars because they're too heavy because they're fat. My days, all my days, that was, I don't even know where that came from. Actually, it came off the back of how the Chelsea and Man City fans have been. Right. Acting. Nice little segue in. A, a bit of an aggressive Thank segue, if, if I must say, but a segue nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to the Champions League final. Yeah. It, it's not for everyone, Al. It's not for everyone. It's not winning. It's not for everyone. 
it is absolutely not for everyone. I saw a banner that had a picture of Hitler and then a picture oh. of Tuchel and Jurgen Klopp. And it said, conquering Europe isn't for all Germans. Oh. Which was a bit of a strange banner, if I'm honest. And because both of them have, technically. Tuchel and... Tuchel and... Klopp. Klopp, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have but, both but, won. But, but Hitler hasn't. So it's not for all Germans. No, no, he didn't. I mean, he he, he conquered a vast majority of it. Yeah. Um, You know, I mean, it depends on how you look at it, though, Well, If you're looking at the, you know, Axis forces... Or we like as in like Italy, Italy and Germany, or just Germany alone, because they got pretty far on their own. Do you know what I mean? Before Mussolini yeah, yeah. got involved. But anyway, that's that's a different story. Um, Champions League final. What did you think? Did you watch it? I know you were. Yeah, I work, I've, you wa- I've watch watched it, it back the next day, but I was working the night. Yeah, yeah. I watched it back the next day. Um, an Great absolute game. tactical masterclass from Tom to Shell, mate. Yeah, I was. I thought it was Ta- a great game of football. Yeah, uh, honestly, a tactical masterclass from Tuchel. He, he genuinely, yeah. the, defensively, they were solid. I just think the it's a weird one, isn't it? Because like I remember when we when we lost to Ki- when we lost in Kiev, and yeah, obviously Salah got taken off injured. Um, I remember a lot of other fans being like, "You can't rely on one player," and. You know, excuses, excuses. You know, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. centre around. And, you know, I think a similar thing happened to City that night, as in Kevin with De Bruyne him. came off with an orbital yeah. blowout, which is a fucking... Re- I've had an orbital blowout before. It's a really serious thing. Yeah. Like, I've had it, I had it in my left eye when I was, like, 18. Is, well, is, is that what they said he Is that what they said he had, yeah? Yeah, he's, had, he's got an orbital blowout, yeah. Um... And it's a really serious like thing to have. So, and I just think as soon as he went off, they all shit themselves. They were like, "Oh fuck!" Like, what fuck are yeah, we gonna yeah. do here? And that's mad. That is totally fucking mad, considering who they have. Yeah. But like at their disposal. Yeah. But it, it comes back to that thing for me of like I just think if you, it's like an inherent thing, isn't it? Like, if your team has been there before to that kind of stage, to that kind of pressure, you know, it's just ingrained in, into you to win like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I like to Liverpool, even Chelsea. Chelsea have been to a lot of finals. You know, United have been to a lot of finals. And what, what, City? Carabara Cup? I think it was the game. first year, I think it was the first year in a long time when no, none of the starting players had won the Champions League before. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying oh, to work starting out. Starting players. If anyone on the bench. So, like, City had... City have got absolutely no players that have ever won the no. Champions League before. Um, Thiago Silva for... No, uh, don't Silva think won it? No, I don't think he has won it. No, I don't he's think he's He's AC Milan he? and then he went to PSG and he didn't win it with AC Milan. And PSG have wow. won it, so... He, um, Was that two shells first one? It was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. He, he got to the final last year at PSG, didn't he? And they got That's beat. right, yeah. And then he's come to Chelsea this year. Um, but yeah, it's the first year, I think it's the first year in a long time where no no players have, have won it before. Well, you got to stop crying your heart out, haven't you? Yep. Absolutely, mate. It's not for everyone, mate. It isn't for everyone. City, Listen, look. City will have to come again. City will win it. Like, let's have it right. Like, City will win yeah. it eventually. Like, I don't, I just think that, like, I don't know. What like what we've proven since we started this 20 weeks ago, by the way. Episode 20. Episode 20. 20 weeks ago, we've established that I know nothing about football. Well, uh, I'm glad you're saying City will win it because I hope that means they never win it. All oh, right, yeah, because <laughs> there's been a few things. Yeah, I, I think you're wrong there. Where you say I know nothing about football, there's just a couple of things that you've said that have just absolutely backfired, and they're all like fair statements. Like Ian Acho is in my average team of the year, and then after mm. you said that, he went and scored like he was on fire. What was it like 14 goals? Yeah. In all competitions. You, after you said, 
Ian Acho was in my average team of the year, Ian Acho went on and had a cracking season. Mm. You, when you said that West Ham and Leicester yeah. were in top four and that you couldn't see West Ham dropping points again, they dropped a load mm. of points. Yeah. So yeah. now that you're saying, I think City will win the Champions League, let's cross our fingers that you that you're right. I think they will. They they I, I just got. Do you not think they will? I mean, they, they should do, shouldn't they? Yeah. No. No. Not should they? they right. They got the best manager in the world. Yeah. Well, statistically, do you know what I mean? Oh, trophy, right. trophy Statistic- wise and yeah, yeah, yeah. Best yeah. manager yeah, in yeah, the world. Yeah. Big one of the biggest squads, some of the best players, most money, best facilities, all that sort of so stuff. Take take statistics out of it, Al, and put your money where your mouth is. I think they need to go and w- sign a couple of players that have won it. Oh right, yeah, see, yeah, experience. They need to go and sign a couple of players that have won won that trophy before and and want to win it again. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I mean, just look at our squad. I mean, well, mind you, it was only 2019. Yeah, uh, fucking hell, but like. I'm trying to think. They all won it. Obviously, so there's the only Genie who's the gone. Day on tw- I saw a thing the other day on Twitter that said that um, N'Golo Kante has become uh, another player to join only six players before him that have won the World Cup, the Premier League, and the Champions League. What a player! What a player he was that night. Can you name them players? Okay, so say it again. Sorry. So there's N'Golo Kante and six other players. Have won the World Cup, the Champions League, and the Premier League. World Cup, Champions League, Premier League. Yeah, there's only first six one, other players. First one is an absolute Premier League hero. Um, well, I'll get back to that one. And my guess is Olivier Giroud. No, he's got. He's won the World Cup. He's, never he's won, won the, the Champions Prem. League. Who's? Hang he's on, where's Olivier Giroud? Chelsea's never won what? the Prem. He never won the Prem with Chelsea. No, he's with Arsenal. The year, Con- the year Conte won it? No, he wasn't there then. Was he Arsenal still? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, oh, he's not. He's never won it. There. Uh, an, absolute, an absolute hero. What, year, yeah, what, what, like, what era? Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame Premier League player, mate. Oh, right. Um, well, it's... Uh, it's uh, Premier League, Champions League... And World Cup. Oh, is it uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo? No, no. Never won World Cup. He's never won the World Cup. Oh, he's won the Euros, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, think is he like, French? Yeah, think greatest player oh, the Prem's oh, ever Thierry seen. Oh, Thierry Henry. There you go, Thierry. Right, sorry. Thierry's, sorry, everyone. Thierry's the first one. Sorry, everyone. Right. I don't know why I'm apologising. Fuck off. Next one. Um, right. I'll I'll give you some clues. So there's Kante, Omri. Yeah. Next one um, is a. This is a really tough one. This in terms of I don't think you'll have guessed that he's won the Premier League. Centre back Spanish. Right. He's not, but he's won the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. Spanish centre back has won all three. Whoa. I've got to think about when the last time. How, how long ago was this? Uh, still playing. He's st- st- still playing now. Oh, baby, when you talk like that, you may oh. go and go, man. Did he win it with United? Yeah. Oh, um, fucking hell! I, I I know who it is. I can't remember. Think his name. It's not. It's not Sergio Biscuits. It's um. It's no, no. It's fucking Jer. Uh, just hey, yeah, name, go on, go on. Liverpool legend on. is his first name. Ja- like, give me the give me the initial of his. F- of, of, I know, I know him, lad. GP. I, I can see GP, mate. Who? GP. GP. Yeah. Oh, Gerard PK. Fucking hell. Gerard PK. <laughs> Gerard PK. Right, next one is Spanish winger. Yeah. Spanish winger, mate. Okay. Um. Still play, uh, yeah. Still playing now. I don't know where he's playing now. Was it Pedro? Well done, Pedro. Yes, Pedro. Champions League with Barca, World Cup with Spain, and the Prem with Chelsea under Conte. Chelsea. Yeah, uh, French goalie. 
Og øhm... Um, Do you pay for um? Oh no, he's Polish, isn't he? I'm thinking of. Oh no, no, no. Oh what? I do know. He played for Arsenal, didn't he? No. Did he play for Arsenal? No. Oh, F- French goalie. French goalie. Yeah. What era was this? He won the Champions League with Marseille. Yeah. Won the World Cup with France. Yeah. And he played in a red. Sh- he played for a red team in England. Play for us? No. No, he didn't play for us. I'm talking about what United post Schmeichel oh, pre oh, Van der Sar. Oh. Sorry, excuse me. It's Fabian Barthez. Fabian Barthez. See, you know more about football than you're telling yourself here. <laughs> Last one's the hardest one. Oh, okay, go on then. Brazilian left back. Oh, God, that could be played uh, for Barcelona. Oh. Played for okay. Chelsea. Okay. And he was a Brazilian left back. What era? Uh, won it in 2010 with with Chelsea. Oh. Um, his second name begins with a B. Yeah, I know. I fucking know it. I can see his face. You're gonna. I can't. His second oh, name rem- re- similar to what you'd eat meatballs with. Pasta. Close. Spaghetti. Yeah, close to that. Sp- what? It sounds Sp- like spaghetti. Maghetti. Moretti. Jaghetti. Lissetti. But Ber- what is it? Bermetti. Beretti. Belletti. Oh, ba- <laughs> Belletti. Belletti. He was a Brazilian left back. He won it. So they're the list of players that he's joined. <laughs> Only six ah. players have ever won all of them. That's mad, that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's a really good start. Yeah. He was my favourite player on the night, N'Golo Kante. He was, oh, he was unreal, fucking mate. incredible. And I love that little song that... I love the little song that France have got about him. That N'Golo, N'Golo, Kante. <laughs> <laughs> no, play have it. it. Oh, we'll have to find it and play just it. Play, just play... No, just, lad, just sing me. He goes, N'Golo, N'Golo, Kante. Is that it? I'm not putting that in if that's all it is. I get it. It's good, isn't it? It's no. <laughs> Shite. <laughs> the f- I get it. I get it. Yeah. No. It's shite. We should we should end the episode on the proper version. No, of that. I'm not putting that in the fucking podcast. Oh, shit, God, lad. Oh. Hang on. Pouring goal. Even some other teams in the Prem, I prefer their shouts to that. What was that? Well, it was all in French. Oh, fucking. <laughs> could have been like. Could have been like dead funny. It sounds like they just kept shouting and Golo Kante. Uh, well, I Google what the actual. Well, it's going to be all are. in French, isn't it? Anyway, listen. Before you do, Al, we've had a. I've had a complaint. Mm-hmm. Oh God. I've Who had tell? a complaint from several people. Right. So, so have I. If this is about Everton, right? So I've I. had several com- complaints, right, saying um, and uh, from a multitude of people, and these are people that actually don't know each other as well. Okay, so it's not as if they've all conspired to say the same thing, right? Saying that we go too hard into Everton, we give them a bit of a roasting, yeah, and they don't like it. Now I've listened, I've listened to what they've said, right, and my my like. My response to that is, I couldn't give two fucks what you think of your shit team, right? You're shit, middle of the road shit, right? And you're that shit, right? That now your manager is jumping ship. <laughs> like, and your replacement, by what Twitter's saying, is going to be Mark Hughes. Enjoy you. Enjoy your life, lads. Well, I'd just like to... Don't I apologise mean, on my behalf. I'd like to take this <laughs> opportunity to all the man on listeners. 
to say that I fully <laughs> concur with what Andy yeah. says. You shit, you shit, you fucking shit. <laughs> FC a gob, shites, cough, pipes, sniff them in the streets. You can smell them a mile away. They've got mud on their face. Big disgrace. We're gonna slap them down to seven face. We will, we will thrash you. We will, we will thrash you. Sing it. We will, we will thrash you.